Making an email campaign may seem hard, but using Zoho campaigns, you can do it in only 5 minutes. Before starting an email campaign, you have to prepare a list of contacts to which you will send the emails. The first one is taking leads or contacts from our CRM system using a filter and creating a contact list. Go to contacts in the sidebar menu and find the synchronization of services. Here you can add a new synchronization. It can be immediate and will import your records automatically as soon as the new record is added to your CRM or periodic so you can import records at defined intervals. We will choose the immediate synchronization. Now you can choose the model that you would like to synchronize and it can be leads, contacts or custom model. We will choose the leads module. Here we can name our list of contacts and choose which leads we will use for the email campaign. You can choose all leads or filter them by certain criteria, creating the custom view in CRM system. To do that, go to your CRM system, click all leads and find new custom view. Let's name it and choose criteria which will filter our leads. For example, you want to make an email campaign only for the clients living in the US. Then you have to choose the country as a filter. You can also choose different columns, but we will use the regular ones like first name, last name, company and email. You can also choose to whom you want to share this list. It can be only you, everyone or selected user. After that, we save the changes. Now you can see a new created list among all of the other lists. And now we can go back to Zoho campaigns. Here we should refresh the page, name the synchronization and choose custom view. Find the recently created custom view and select it. Then you should choose a list of contacts. You can choose an old one or create a new one. We will create a new one. Here you name it and write the reason why the receiver got the email that will be shown in the footer. Then you choose the list that you created. And then you choose whether you want to exclude the email output or converted leads. We will choose don't exclude. Press the button next. So then you're being transferred to the page with map fields. Here we will choose the first name and the company name. Let's go to the next page. On this page, you can see the details of synchronization and go back to the list of all synchronizations that you created. Now we can go to contact lists and check if the new created one is saved there. The second way of creating a contact list is downloading it from a file. So after you've created a list of contacts, just download it in the form of Microsoft Excel. Then press the button create list. And again, we name it and write the reason why the receiver got the email that will be shown in the footer. On this page, you can choose how would you like to get the contacts into your list. You can do that manually, import the contacts from other databases, synchronize your contacts from other Zoho apps or third-party apps with Zoho campaigns, or to add the contacts that fill the web form, for example, on your website. We want to download the contact list from the document, so we're choosing the second option. Here you can choose the file. You can download it from your computer or use a ready-made integrations with Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox and others. Now we have to specify the contacts consent to receive the emails, so whether it is required or expressed. After that, we're moving to field mapping. We're choosing the company name, the first name and the email and pressing the button import. And again, let's check if the new created contact list is saved. And as we can see, the list is saved. Now let's go to campaigns, email campaign and press the create campaign button. Here we can choose the type of our campaign. The most popular ones are regular emails and A-B testing where you test two different versions of email. Let's create a regular email campaign. First of all, you have to name it and then add a subject of your email. Here you can add the sender's details, the sender's name and the email. And you can also add the reply to email address. Now let's add our recipients. You can choose from two options, add them as lists or segments. We created a list of contacts, so let's choose this option. From the list of contacts, choose the one that you want to use for this email campaign and save the changes. And now it's time to choose the content of the email. You can choose a pre-designed templates or create a new one. 
In the next videos, we will tell you how to create and edit templates in Zoho campaigns, but for now, we will use the pre designed one. The next step is to send our campaign for the review. Now, let's go back to the list of campaigns. Refresh the page, and now we can see that our campaign is reviewed and is ready to be sent. Click on the campaign, and now you can see three different ways to send it. You can send it now, schedule the campaign for a specific date and time, or send in batches at specified intervals. We're choosing the option to send now and press the send button. As you can see, the email is sent immediately. And in the list of all campaigns, we can see that this one is also sent.